Hey, it's me. I wanted to talk about something we've been discussing lately, like how hard it is for us to align our own free will with what we believe is God's will. And, you know, feel free to replace God, the word God, with source, universe, nature, whatever term you, you prefer. But let's dig into why that might be. Like, why do we have difficulty aligning, aligning our own free will with what we believe is God's will? I think if you think about it and you're honest with yourself, maybe you don't fully trust God. Like, even if we haven't said it out loud deep down, the lack of trust might be there. If we truly trusted God, we find it easier to put his will above our own. But sometimes we act like we know better than God about what's best for us, even though that's not really the case, right? Our self-love can be kind of unhealthy and short-sighted at times. Whereas on the other hand, God's love for us is pure, strong, and healthy. It's far, it's, it's more far-sighted and genuinely wants the best for us. Sure, sometimes what comes our way isn't pleasant. That's often because of the natural consequences of our own past actions, though, our own past attitudes. If we learn to accept those difficulties and align ourselves with God's laws, things get a lot easier. By facing and overcoming our challenges, we become stronger, freer, happier. Each step forward helps us understand the bigger picture a little bit better. So only when we tackle the obstacles we've often created for ourselves can we enjoy the happiness that's meant for us, even while we're here on earth. So overcoming these self-made hurdles frees up, frees us up to receive and hold on to happiness longer. Everyone can have a personal connection with the spiritual world. Spirituality isn't just for quote-unquote special people or mediums or channels. There are some conditions we need to meet, absolutely. You know, when spiritual beings communicate with us, they don't want to control us or make us dependent on them. Unlike some spirits in this earth realm that might try to boss us around to boost their own egos, evolved spiritual beings respect our free will. They want us to become free and independent, finding real freedom through our connection with the divine. Each of us needs to have our own experiences and understanding what's God, what is God's will for us in any situation. And I think we're here to help each other with that, like to learn how to establish that personal connection. There are certain principles and steps involved, sure. And first, like I said, you may need to overcome some personal obstacles and you have to want it, right? No one can make that decision for you, but it's available to each and every one of us. The other piece to this is that if we learn about these spiritual truths, but then won't put them into practice, we can't really deny their reality, not even to ourselves. Everything taught by genuine spiritual sources can be personally experienced in a way that's undeniable, surpassing any material proof. So if we don't do what's needed to experience and confirm these truths, it's not really fair to question their validity. Right. Anyway, I hope this gives you something to think about. Let me know if you'd like to talk more about it. Love you. Let's connect soon.